Welcome to the second video of our tutorial series on integrating external angle sensors with TinyMover. In the latest TinyMover firmware, we've added support for a range of external sensors as position or commutation sensors. Today, we'll focus on setting up our own TinyMover MPS MA704 breakout. The MA7 series are magnetic sensors by monolithic power systems that offer high performance at an affordable price range. Being in SPY sensor, the MA series is compatible with TinyMover M5 and the upcoming TinyMover R5.3 and R6. The MA704 breakout mounts at the end of the rotor shaft. For this video, we will mount the sensor on the back of a GM3506 motor. By fixing the 3D printed sensor bracket to the back of our motor, the sensor on the bracket, and the sensing magnet on the shaft. To connect the sensor to TinyMover, we will use the 6-pin JST cable that comes with the sensor breakout and interface it with the 8-pin JST cable that is included in the TinyMover M5 wire pack. To find out more about these products, check out the video description. Attach the one end of the cable to the MA704 port. Then, attach the other end of the cable to flex port on the tiny mover. This port is compatible with 3.3 volt I.O. and also supplies 5 volt power. You'll find the pinout details in the diagram displayed on your screen. Once the sensor is connected, it's time to configure it. Connect your TinyMover to your computer and launch the TinyMover Studio software. In the Studio interface, navigate to Sensors, Setup, External Underscore Spy. MS7XX should be selected already. If not, expand the drop-down and select it. Next, expand the Select menu and choose External Spy for both position and commutation sensors. You should now be able to plot the readings from the sensor. Next, let's calibrate the tiny mover. Simply click Calibrate and wait for the calibration process to complete. Upon successful calibration, the calibrated flag will be set, indicating that the board is now ready for use in closed loop mode. Switch to position mode to start using the tiny mover with the new sensor. Using the default gains, you will notice that this motor is oscillating. To fix this, lower the velocity P gain value from the controller, velocity menu. And that's it. Your motor is now set up and ready to operate with the MA7XX sensor. As a side note, in Studio version 2, you can intuitively control values by click holding the mouse over a value and dragging. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this one.